Hello, thank you for letting me share my latest project with you. Uh, this is one of two albums that I'm making for two of my grandson's teachers for Valentine's Day. Uh, one is in kindergarten and one is in first grade. I was inspired by um, Ginger of my sister Scrapper on YouTube and uh, this is my version of her vertical paper bag mini album and she does have a uh, tutorial on YouTube a series of them and uh, and I really enjoy watching her videos um, so this uh, paper line uh, that I use primarily on this um, inside was uh, mostly the cut aparts from uh, Echo Park uh, love story along with some can company and a variety of other papers uh, from my stash that I have no idea who the manufacturer is but uh, anyway um, this is my Valentine album and on the cover uh, is a can company paper that's very glittery and sparkly and a can company embellishment and uh, some roses and just a lacy heart spellbinders uh, die that my daughter punched out for me and uh, there's the spine. It is a uh, chipboard cover and uh, uh, I did use Laura Dennison's uh, um, Stack the Deck binding system and a lot of Martha Stewart uh, die, uh, punches. And here we have uh, on the first page a little tag. This is my stamping up uh, wheel baroque wheel and it fits into a little uh, belly band here with a little stopper down here then we have one of the cut aparts that flips up for a photo opportunity got a little messed up and I added some bling and this page flips out and there are a couple more photo mats there plus a little tag here that tucks right in and then each of the pages has a long tag that easily fits a 4x6 and uh, that all the tags are the same so I won't be taking those out and the next page is the colors I just Valentine's Day is so fun here's some little uh, Cane Company uh, tags that I just inked up and added uh, some ribbon to and they tuck right into the this cute little pocket and then this is one of the um, rosettes that I made uh, last Valentine's Day and uh, just getting around to using them it just came in real handy and uh, then this opens and this is some these are some dies that my daughter also sent to me and uh, I made it to where these little tags can pull in and out here and uh, the teachers can put uh, put pictures on those and just put them right back in there and then we have this page where I uh, use glossy accents to uh, bring these uh, colors out and added some little silver beads half beads and here are some little tags here that are just really cute and this page is a peekaboo page had to go through about th I think it was three layers to get this uh, lined up properly and a photo mat here with the ribbon that came through to the other side there's the back of that window and this little heart down here here's another little cute little tag and that just goes right in there and then we have this page with a couple little tags here and this flips up as well another rosette with some um, stickles sparkly stickles and then this also flips up and this I punched this to match 
this and this flips up this is one of the cut aparts and then these little doors open and tuck back into the brads the baroque wheel again very very pink added some stickles to these so uh, little tags and sparkled this one up and added some cute little ribbon and it goes really well with this K and Company paper and a little butterfly Martha Stewart heart uh, edge punch and then we have a little tag here so cute and a couple more of these little cut apart tags and of course these are um, photo mats here and I just went around them with uh, a gel pen sparkly gel pen then this is a little file folder that I added some bling to and it opens like this a couple of photo opportunities there I um, used um, some of the velcro and uh, the Tombow velcro and left this one white and colored this one with a marker so it would uh, not show as badly and then also on the front here I've got a little note for the teacher so that she will know that she can pull this out and put a picture in here or she can leave it like that whichever she prefers but I think a picture would be really cute so it said slide in picture okay and we have the cupcake and yummy page with uh, excuse me a couple of uh, little tags here we've got some Martha Stewart embellishments cupcakes and candy I made this uh, a while back um, a cupcake and used the um, it's a uh, an applique a foam applique of some sort I forget what it's called and added some glitter and it just uh, opens like that and then I made this um, heart out of uh, some of the ultra lightweight foam uh, that I put into a jewelry mold and uh, got two pieces put it together and made a heart and when I put it on here I made sure that it would fit right in with this uh, cupcake top so that they would uh, mesh together and then this uh, flower here is uh, from my McGill punch which I use a lot I love that punch and then open it up and we have a couple of little cupcake tags here and they go right in there and then there's another cut apart made into a little folder and here is a larger tag with a Martha Stewart uh, cupcake on it and also I added this which is some of my honeycomb paper I just cut in the shape of a heart and then I had to trim it a little bit down in this area to so it wouldn't go straight across and I added some of my flower soft um, peel offs and again I colored the um, velcro so it would blend in and close and stay closed like that and the last page we have a flip up page with another punch anywhere on the page uh, punch from Martha Stewart some some little sparkly hearts and a couple of little tags here I have uh, two tag punches I punched this outer one and then I punched the other one and uh, they fit really well together and that goes back in there and then we have this little tag and um, another sparkly one and that goes right back in there and I embossed, dry embossed this uh, pocket and uh, also made this little um, rosette that is actually the same paper as this paper on this side. But uh, there's my little rosette. 
And my sister in Texas showed me how to uh, make corners with uh, just a scalloped uh, circle punch and fold it in quarters and glue it down and you have photo corners. And that's my album. The next one uh, that I'm working on right now, it's about half done. This one I made um, with uh, quarter inch gussets. And uh, it's uh, a little bit chunky, so I'm going to have to put a closure on this. But uh, the, the next one that I'm working on is uh, three-eighths of an inch. So that should make it a little bit more um, free. So thank you for watching and uh, happy Valentine's Day.